Hi, I'm Danny Nielsen, and I'm going to be working through kind of the first um, steps of a HiSat tutorial um, out of a Nature Protocol paper. So I'm going to set up my screen share here. Um, actually, I think I need to set it up a little differently. Tire screen. Um, all right, hopefully this is working. Okay, so the Nature Protocol paper is here. It's this um, Partea et al., from 2016, and they've developed this software, HiSat. <clears throat> it's actually gone through some uh, more development since this published paper, and so now we're on HiSat 2. But anyhow, they go through the um, the software, and then they actually get into this uh, tutorial and kind of run you through the steps of um, working with RNA seq data. So I'm just going to run through the first kind of steps uh, that work with um, aligning reads to a reference genome. But before I do that, I just want to show you um, the materials, the equipment needed here. This is important. So you're going to want to follow the instructions here to download the data. So this is the RNA-seq reads, indexes, and gene annotations. Um, these are all going to be available here. I'm going to show you a little bit about um, using this. You have to use the if you're using a Mac, you can use the, um, from the terminal window, you can FTP in to this, um, this remote uh, location and actually download the files directly, and I'll show you how to do that. And then um, for the steps we're going to be working through today, you need the HiSat software, this HiSat 2, and that exists um, at this link. I actually went to the GitHub link, and... Uh, well, let's see. I think it's just not, I don't know. I think it's there. It's just for some reason it doesn't like that the uh, that link is split between two lines, so it doesn't pick it up. Anyways, it makes it hard to get to. But you can download this data uh, or the software from either of those links. Um, string tie, SAM tools are, those are going to be um, software that you'll need for um, some of the steps uh, further down the protocol that we're not going to be getting to just yet. And then the hardware, uh, you're going to need Linux or Mac, um, something um, with 64-bit uh, computer. So once you have all that, though, you can... Um, uh, do that. So, um, what I'm going to show you now is this first step, just getting the data. So again, it's this um, this link here. So the problem that I've found is that um, I'm just going to get out of this. Okay. So the problem I found is that when you FTP into this, I think it it was kind of not liking um, when I just entered the whole link. So I realized that if I just entered this first part up to the .edu, then once you're once you gain access to that, you can then change directories into eventually this RNA seq underscore protocol directory, and that's where the data that you need to download is. So I'll show you that. So I'm going to FTP into just the uh, kind of parent web address there, and good. All right, I'm in. So then I can list out what's there. So if I remember back to, um, actually I'll show you the website where it is. Okay, so this is the actual website. So what I'm basically doing is I'm, I'm directing from this website, I want to navigate into this directory, and then navigate into this directory. Each of these forward slashes 
designates a new directory. So I will use the cd, that's change directory command, and then I will enter the pub. So I've successfully changed, so I can list out what's in that just to see. Okay, good. So I'm in this uh, pub directory. Now I want to do that one more time. R and a seek protocol. Okay, so that's this, this directory up here. All right, I've successfully changed there. I'll list out the contents of that directory. And I see um, several files. And the files that we're after here are um, this file, which is a zip file, and this annotated um, file. Now you can see these are the file sizes and they're pretty big. I've already downloaded them and I'm not gonna download them again, it takes a while. But I just wanted to show you that step. If I did wanna download them, what I would simply do is I would use this get command here and here. So I would just type in get um, chrx data dot tar dot gz. If I type that in, it'll work. But I don't want to do that because I don't need to download the files again. Okay. But I can show you that. I have those files already. So I'm currently still in this FTP mode. But if I want to exit that and get back into my own like computer, I just type in buy. Look at that, it even tells me goodbye. How sweet, okay. So now I'm back into my computer and you can see my path here. I'm in this HiSAT folder. So I'm already in that, so I'm just gonna list out the contents of that and you can see I've got um, those data files I was talking about, this zip folder, folder file here. So there's one more command that's important because the file you download is in a zip format and you need to unzip it before you can use the uh, HiSAT command um, to uh, uh, align. So we're going to use this tar here. And this tar command is a command for um, unzipping files. And then these are various um, options that you input for how you want that process to go. So I'll just copy and paste this over. You can see it, it's pretty quick. Um, it's just gonna unzip all those files. Yeah, okay. So, I've got all of my files in here, okay? And I've already downloaded the software, the HiSat 2. So I'm not gonna go through and do that again. But you can see that these uh, files with an asterisk next to them are the executable files. So you need those to run the uh, actual HiSat software. And then when we run that, so we're gonna align um, these reads. And so, for each read, there's 12, so you need to do it 12 times. And you see that here in the uh, paper, if we scroll down. So each of these, um, each of these individual files, you're going to do this step for. So there's 12 of them, so you'll do it 12 times. Um, this last uh, portion of the actual uh, command is the output file that you're creating. So this is generating a SAM file and, and we're going to be working with that in a later video. But for now, I'm just going to show you this first one. So you want to highlight, and I'm just going to copy and paste this command. You don't need to copy that dollar sign. That's just indicating a new line for where command is. So I'm going to enter that and it should run. Good, it's running. So it'll run through, it takes, I don't know, a couple minutes or something um, 
to do. And then once the um, once it finishes, you'll end up with these um, .sam files. And so if you ran this 12 times, you'd end up with 12 of these .sam files, one for each of the uh, individual uh, data files that were input. And then you'll have that. So you can see I've already completed the um, steps here and converted these or aligned these and created the .sam file. So there we go.